Weeks of protests about a proposed new Atlanta police training facility site this afternoon. City of Atlanta and DeKalb County officials have confirmed that they are moving forward toward construction. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Bellamy and I'm Faith Jesse. The announcement was made during a press conference with Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens and we have team coverage tonight. Joe Ripley outside of City Hall getting reactions to the deals announcement. But we begin with Bo Beth Yates, who was at today's announcement. She joins us with details of this agreement. Well, that's right. The announcement today is that the city of Atlanta and DeKalb County have come to an agreement allowing the city to receive its land use permit and begin one of the final steps for construction. Now officials confirm construction will take place in approximately 30 acres of land currently owned by the city off Key Road in DeKalb County. Now the training facility though will only use about 85 acres of that land. It will also include a fire department burning site, a kennel, and in an outdoor training facility for the canine units, gun ranges, and even an emergency vehicle obstacle course. Now today the mayor said the training facility is in a desperate need as currently the city is having to rent and reserve spaces at other agencies just to train some of their officers and fire officials. Now the city and officials say despite this agreement, one of their main concerns was protecting the environment. Take a listen. We will protect the neighborhoods, the families, uh, the individuals, and most importantly, we will protect the South River Forest Basin, which is a unique a unique natural resource. There's nothing else like it inside of 285. And it was our number one priority. The city of Atlanta has the most extensive training requirements in the Southeast. Our training includes vital areas like de-escalation training techniques, mental health, community oriented policing, crisis intervention training, as well as civil rights history education. This training needs space, and that's exactly what this training center is going to offer. Now, officials want to stress this is not just a police training site. Again, there is a benefit for the fire department. And coming up at 6, I have more details on why fire officials say this is desperately needed. Sending it to you guys. All right, we look forward to it, Bo Beth. Joe Ripley picks up our team coverage live outside of City Hall. And Joe, the site of this proposed public safety training facility has met strong resistance. So what are protesters who are opposed to the latest development saying about this? We spoke to those protesters, a few dozen of them posted up inside and outside of City Hall, chanting against the building of this public safety training facility being built. Uh, they held up signs reading Stop Cop City. Of course, that is the name they are giving to this facility. Other signs reading Defend Atlanta Force, Abolish Police, and Blood on Your Hands, referencing the deadly shooting of protester Manuel Esteban Pius Tehran less than two weeks ago. Protesters were initially concerned the city of Atlanta and DeKalb County leaders were announcing a compromise and had failed to consult them, but nothing like that was actually announced. Protesters say their top concerns as of this moment remain the destruction of the environment, plus their belief that the facility promotes the militarization of police. We don't, we're not interested in any kind of reduction in Cop City, in having it be a smaller uh, facility and having it being less acres. We're not interested in moving the uh, military, militarized training to another location. We're not interested in any of those uh, concessions. We want no Cop City, period. Meantime, tonight, the city of Atlanta says they are uh, dedicating more than a third of this development to green space, parks and trails, uh, things of that nature. City leaders maintain they are acting on sound research as they are building this facility. They've also long pledged to replace any trees that were damaged or removed in construction of this public safety training center. Coming up at six, some of the protesters, you'll hear their concerns, more of them, plus why they're still optimistic as this deal goes through. Yeah, it doesn't seem like these protesters are backing down tonight. Joe, thank you so much for your report.